Have you ever wanted to build your own app or software, but thought you needed coding skills? Well, in this video, I'll show you how I created a fully functioning AI voice tutor in just minutes using Bolt.new and SimpFlow. Zero coding required. You'll see how I, one, built the app structure using Bolt's coding platform. You type what you want and it builds it automatically. Two, integrated SynthFlow to give my tutor a natural sounding voice, ChatGPT advanced voice mode, and then three, created an interactive learning experience without writing a single line of code. Whether you're an educator, content creator, or just curious about AI, this tutorial is perfect to show you the capabilities of these AI platforms. And believe me, it's gonna blow your mind. All right, so first things first for this build of our app, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to bolt.new. This is an app, this is a platform that allows you to code and build your own applications, having no code at all. It's really good for building really simplistic web applications. So I'm gonna use this and all we have to do is type what we want. So. All right, so here is my prompt. I want you to build an app that allows me to embed a voice widget in order to speak with an AI voice assistant, act as a tutor. This app is gonna be for students that need help with their homework and overall questions. Let's name this tutor flow. There we go. And what it's gonna do now, it's actually gonna initiate and write the code. As you'll see here, it pulls up this tab. This should take about 30 seconds before it actually spits out kind of a preview for us to look at. All right, here we go. We have a basic app. Hello, I'm your tutor. How can I help you with your studies today? Tap the microphone and start speaking. Obviously this doesn't work because we need to write down, or we actually need to embed the widget that we're gonna build on SynthFlow. So let's make some, just a few changes here. All right, so I want the user to be able to take notes during the session, so that way they could save them for later. So think of this just like if you're speaking with any tutor, you could import your notes directly here as you're speaking with the tutor assistant, and then that way they could kind of use it for their homework or whatever they need later. And think of this use case, you could build this for any type of business. I think it's a cool use case for a tutoring company or for to help kids with education, or you could do this for a consulting business where you send people directly to here and train your AI model, which we're going to build in SynFlow on all of your company's information, or, you know, train it on a bunch of data that could essentially help clients or, you know, users of your platform. Awesome. Here we go. It built this. This doesn't look good though. That's not very functional. So All right, so the notes part looks bad and not functional. We'll add some kind of form like card underneath the main card. So essentially this card, if I could just add the notes feature down here and have it kind of like a form where we just write in our notes, save the notes, all that stuff. That is what we want this to look like. So with Bolt, you could be very simple with the prompts you give it and then build from there. I've noticed if you try to get too complex, it could get a little bit overwhelmed. So I like to start and just say, hey, build this. And then if it doesn't look great, then we can make some changes. All right, here we go. Let me try and test this out. All right, there we go. That actually looks pretty cool. You could then see, you know, it saves this here, which we obviously want to be able to save these notes for later. Let's then ask if we could add a category. So that way we could categorize our notes based on what kind of the note is about. So the reason I'm doing this with Bolt, instead of making a voice assistant that you could actually call is because there is not an ability to use the real-time API in phone calls yet via SynthFlow. However, this is something that's on their roadmap real soon, but this is a very cool way to use this in a functional way that honestly, I think provides real value. So I think it's worth it for you to try this out uh, using SynthFlow and Bolt. All right, so it looks like there's some problems that Bolt has identified in the code here. The cool thing, all you gotta do is click fix problems and it'll run back and should resolve these issues for us. Boom, that's cool. So now we actually have a notes feature here, or now we have a category feature here where we could write kind of something. So let's say solve for X in the equation. As an example, we could click mathematics, save it, and now it is tagged with mathematics. That's pretty cool. Now let's just go ahead and build our voice assistant with SynthFlow and embed it right here. What you're gonna wanna do is come over to SynthFlow. There's a link in the description to sign up. What we're gonna wanna do is come to assistance and we want to click create new assistant and we will start from scratch. For this use case, we want to add a widget because we wanna embed it on this website. That is what a widget is called. And then let's just name this tutor assistant. 
And for the AI voice model, you could either use Synthflow or the point of doing this for us is we want to use a real-time voice. So this is OpenAI's real-time voice that you could actually use in your applications, which for example, is this right here, if you've ever used it. Hey, what's going on? Hey there, not much, just here to chat and help out. What's up with you? Ah, uh, not much, thanks. Cool, anything on your mind today or just? All right, so I'm gonna shut that down, but that is the voice we're gonna be using for this. That is why we want to choose the real-time voice here because it is absolutely phenomenal. It is so good. It really sounds like a real person and the response latency is very quick. Next, what we could do is we could change how we want our widget to look. I like this sphere personally. I think it looks really cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is a little user interface thing here where we could have it float. Interesting. Um, we don't need to change that. We could change the color if we want, but that doesn't really change anything for us. What we wanna do is we want to come down to our prompt. So this is the information that we're gonna train this AI tutor on. So for custom greeting, let's add a custom greeting when somebody initiates the call. So, hey, this is Jess with TutorFlow. How can I help you today? And now we want to actually use this Ask Copilot right here to build our prompt. And I'm gonna use AI to do it and help us. All right, so I'm gonna make this very basic. I'm building a tutor assistant to help kids with Spanish. Your job is to help walk through these students who are on a first year Spanish class. They will present questions and your job is to help them out. Think of this as a training wheels for your AI voice assistant. Essentially, this will just like keep it inside of a box in order for it to not go you know, outside of the rails. All right, so here we go. It actually wrote this script. That's great. Let's go ahead and move forward with this. All right, we can click insert this prompt. And now we have our prompt set up. You can see it's talking about our tutoring service, all that stuff. It's talking about objections, the call script, etc. Great, that's awesome. Now what we could do is we could actually start this call and test this out real quick. In order to test out our widget, all we need to do is come down here, click test, and then it'll pull up this widget, which will actually be embedded on our site right here. But let's start a call and see what it sounds like. Real quick, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This channel is AI for non techie So if you want to learn all about AI, but aren't a technical person, this channel is perfect for you. So make sure to like the video and subscribe it means a lot. Hey, this is Jess with TutorFlow. How can I help you with your Spanish studies today? Yeah, I, I need to, could you teach me how to say um, I need to go to the bathroom? Sure. In Spanish, you would say, necesito ir al baño. Let's break it down. Necesito means I need, ir means to the bathroom, and al baño means to the bathroom. Would you like to practice saying it? Sure, it's necesito ir al baño. Great job, you got it right. Necesito ir al baño. Keep practicing and it'll become Neces Necesito ir al baño. Perfect. Great job with the pronunciation. Okay. If you need. What about, how do I say, how old are you? To ask how old are you in Spanish, you would say, ¿Cuántos años tienes? ¿Cuántos means how many, años means years, and tienes means do you have, which is how age is asked in Spanish. So, ¿Cuántos años tienes? Is that how you say it? Yes, exactly. Cuantos años tienes is perfect. Great job. Keep practicing and you'll get even is more it, comfortable. Is the last word in that, is it with a T or a D? Is it tienes or tienes? Good question. It's tienes with a T. So it sounds like T-Y-E-N-E-S. Would you like to try saying it again? Sure. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Perfect. Great job with the pronunciation. Keep practicing. All right, so there you go. That is an example of what our widget is going to look like. And we just need to now deploy it to our application here. And how we're going to do that is we're going to come back to our Synthflow account. We want to copy this embed code here. And then let's go to Bolt. All right, so I'm gonna say, can you embed this code where you have the microphone currently in the app? I want it added right here. And I'm gonna screenshot this right here because that's where I want it to be embedded just to give it a little bit of context. And let's come down here and write our embed code. And it should probably go ahead and embed this. We'll see if it gets it on the first try.
All right, so it looks like the widget wasn't necessarily deployed correctly. It says there is an issue, it's refused to connect, and it's just kind of like hovering right here. I'm just gonna say it doesn't look right and then see if it kind of fixes it. All right, so there we go. Identified that it doesn't, basically said let's update the app component to properly position the widget and make sure it doesn't overlap with the other content because it was overlapping, which we don't want it to. All right, there we go. It looks like now it's embedded there. That's pretty cool. And the thing is, is this doesn't work. We can't test this out unless we are on a deployed app from what I've seen. So let's go to go ahead and deploy this. And this will now deploy this to a domain so we could actually access this on the internet if we give somebody a URL to this. And this takes like literally 30 seconds with Bolt. All right, looks like here is access to the application. All right, so again, it's not fitting properly. Bolt is a great platform to make simple things, but there are a little bit of issues because this platform launched just about a month ago. Um, so this has nothing to do with Synflow as far as the widget not working. It's just simply because the layout is not working inside of Bolt. So we need to fix this inside of our coding here. Hopefully it fixes it after this prompt we gave it. All right, so I'm gonna give it a prompt to kind of structure this differently. I need the widget, full widget to be shown. Maybe move the notes section to the right and have the full widget available on the left-hand side. So that way we'll have the notes over here, like this will be over here and then the full widget will be right here. So it's not blocking this right here. All right, here we go. This should work now. Let me take a look and deploy this and see if it works. Real quick, if you're running into an issue on Google Chrome when this is deployed, try it on Safari because for whatever reason, it won't capture my voice and it won't speak on Google Chrome. There's some issues with the settings inside of my Chrome, so it's working perfectly in Safari. Hey, this is Jess with Tutor Flow. How can I help you today? Hey, what's up, Jess? I have some questions for my Spanish homework. Can you help me? Of course, I'm here to help. What questions do you have about your Spanish homework? Yeah, so I need to figure out how to actually say, um, can I go to the bathroom? Sure. A common way to ask, can I go to the bathroom in Spanish is, ¿Puedo ir al baño? Would you like to practice saying it together? Puedo, wait, it's ¿Puedo ir al baño? Yes, that's right. ¿Puedo ir al baño? Means, can I go to the bathroom in Spanish? Great job. How do I, sp is there anything How do I spell that so I can add that to my notes? It's spelled P-U-E-D-O-I-R a-A-N-J-O. So, puedo ir al baño. Is there anything else you'd like to add to your notes? Um, all right, I added the note. Now, could you help me with pronunciation? I'm trying to figure out how to say my name is Brock. Sure. To say my name is Rob in Spanish? No, actually say, it's my name is Brock. Got it. My name is Rob in Spanish. My name my is name. Brock with a B, B-R-O-C-K. Got it. To say my name is Brock in Spanish, you would say me llamo Brock. Would you like to practice that together? How do I say, how do I, like, what, how do I spell that? Sure. Me llamo Brock is spelled M-E-L-L-A-M-O, Brock. Well done. Is there anything else you need help with? Um, actually, how could I say this app has been very helpful, thank you? Oh, you can say, esta aplicación ha sido muy útil. Gracias. That's, esta aplicación ha sido muy útil. Gracias. Would you like to go over the pronunciation together? Thank you very much. Okay, so there we have it. We have our app, we have our study notes here. We could go back and inside of Bolt, we could make some changes if we would like. That is working smoothly. Another amazing thing is we could build more dynamic voice assistant too. We could have this help us with math, with physics, with chemistry, anything. Literally, we could train this on your company. I made a video in the past where I make an AI consultant where I help businesses identify how to use AI and our assistant helps them identify these different processes that could be automated via AI. So you can get really, really dynamic and creative with this. For this use case, I thought it'd be cool to build a tutor app because I think this is the future of like, honestly, education. I think this is going to change everything. So 
This is really cool, being able to use advanced voice mode with ChatGPT via Synthflow and build our own application with Bolt. I figured I'd use these, both of these no-code platforms, tie them together and make a really cool, useful, real-life use case. And staying on theme with this video, if you want more content like this, my YouTube channel is AI for non-techies. So I teach you how to leverage AI platforms as a non-technical person. I have no idea how to code, but I'm building some pretty cool things and showcasing it all on this YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe, join the school community. There's a link in the description below. AI for non-techies, as well as sign up for Synthflow and Bolt. There are some links in the description. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.